知らせいけないからそれで。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ
what were some of the hurdles that you had to overcome? You can go to a party, see people being nachos. Did you, did you <clears> that was a hard. That was a hard thing because I would. I would cheat a lot on the weekends okay. just to give myself a reward, but then by Monday the weight would be back on because I was always living off the scale. And I would be like, I'm killing myself all week for what? Okay. So that's when I started taking over on the weekends. Once I took over on the weekends, then it kind of... Can you explain what you mean when you say uh, living by the scale? Is that what you said? Yeah, I mean, don't... My, at first for me, when I started chasing numbers, it was like I just wanted to cut weight. Okay. So I would, I would get on the scale like once a week or every week. And just checking it. If it wasn't moving, then I would get discouraged, or I wouldn't eat. And the last thing you do is you don't want to not eat. You're gonna have to eat. You know what I mean? You gotta give yourself energy. You know what I mean? So. So you eventually changed to where you just stopped looking at the scale. Yeah. Oh. I can also I can wake up and kind of tell where I'm at, or how I'm feeling. If I'm flat, if I'm full. Depends how I ate the day before. And out the gate, what was your goal? Out the gate, as soon as you when I told okay. when you woke up, what was your goal? Okay, my goal was okay. My goal was just to try it, man. Why not? Like, why the fuck not can I be that guy? Why? Okay. Everybody I see is getting bigger and drinking and doing other shit. That, that's their thing. I never was my thing. I did a little bit, but it wasn't. So I said, why not be a fit guy? Why not give it a chance? Okay. So when the weight started coming off and I, the confidence started going up, it, and it, it was, my head, mentally I was getting stronger too, not knowing it. Like I would hate getting up in the morning. I would still get up and just get it done and just do it because I had I wanted to do it. So every day you're getting up at five. I'm getting up at five. To work. Yes. What's I'm going at what seven. So from five to six. You six six out. fifteen. I would work out hard. So give me everything I shower, got. Shower. Go to work. Go to work. I would work out at my gym. I didn't go to. I mean my, my garage. Oh. So I had my own. I had a, I had a couple of weights, a little bar, and a treadmill that I okay. bought a year ago, but it's been there because I knew I didn't know, but I just bought it. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say, hey, I knew I was gonna make you do it. So you didn't jump out like most people get uh, a new year, they go get a gym membership? Nah. You didn't do it, you started at home. I started, with, I started with what I had. Okay. I wasn't gonna be like, hey, I, if I don't have a partner, I'm not gonna do it. Fuck that, I don't believe in it. Okay. If you have a partner, great. If you don't, you don't. What your partner at the end of the day is not gonna, you know what I mean? That's your health. You, that's your health. You're doing it for you. What were some of the exercises that you were doing? Because you said that you just jumped right into it. You woke up on Tuesday. Oh yeah, not knowing what to do. I just kind of did curls, overhead presses, because I knew the stuff that I've seen around. And then I would get up and triple and I would run. I mean, I would just like overexert myself, just work out hard. And I would have a sweatsuit on. Mm. With the hoodie over and just try to sweat as much as I could and work. Not knowing that I was building muscle while I was cutting. I didn't know that because I didn't know. I was just trying to work out and get my heart rate up. When did you get confident enough? So you're about, what year, about 32, 33, 34, what year did you get confident enough to start stepping in the gym and start messing with the other guys? Oh, I knew off the bat. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. Once I started getting into it more, the more I learned, the more I felt like, well, hey, I can do that too. About how old were you, do you think? That I don't know. I just remember everything after 32 I've been running with. You've been I mean, running with my, it. I don't, count my, I don't count my age anymore. I don't, age ain't shit to me. You said age ain't shit to Not to me. I mean, come on. <laughs> what made you, so at, we we're about 10 years in, what made you start to want to change it from looking good to now competing? Well, I just want to be able to do a, well, I want to see you tell me in front of my wife. Uh, I wanted to put, do a show eventually one time, at least once. Okay. You know what I mean? I've way? told her, I've told Chell on the download, I've told my boy that I want to do one. Just to say I've done it, you know what I mean? Why not? Gotcha. I don't want to be 50 and something and be like, I should have done it. I mean, I want to do it. Gotcha. Just to say I did it, just rep, you know what I mean? <laughs> so what else are you doing currently now to, because, and you can let us all know, is working out for yourself a lot different than working out for a show? Oh yeah, that's different. That I can't say I know because that I don't know about yet. Are you gonna get a coach? Oh yeah, I have a coach. Okay, yeah. so what's he kind of teaching you? Like, what are some? Because you've been in the game ten years. Usually, they say it's always on and off with me. I've done tried a bunch of different stuff, but his stuff worked the best for me. He calls it prison style. Okay, it's just gritty, hard, volume, heavy. Give us some. Give us some examples. Like on a, on a Monday, are you lifting different days? Different Mondays. Models? Mondays are usually the best days, baby. I saw uh, Murder Monday. I think I saw on your Murder your Monday. Is just just go right at it. Is it always a specific body part on Monday, like the same body part? No, we change it. Very. So it you change it. Yeah, he changes it. So it kind of confuse the muscle. Yeah, not to say confuse the muscle, just kind of just work with different body parts at different times. Are you 
doing any cardio as you're trying to bulk. Because like, and he's got me doing 15 minutes still. That's it. At the end, at the end of the workout, yeah, 15 minutes. How about how many calories are you consuming a day? <sighs> calories, I don't know. I know my macros were. I can give you numbers. Give me a minute. Yeah, go. Because I haven't written down just a lot. Like six to eight thousand. Like I said, I don't know calories. I just know more like the macros, like the proteins, the amount of carbs, okay. and the fats, like the number. That's better right here. I'm supposed to be eating 492 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, 135 grams of fat per day. Okay. Every day. The goal is to get to 215. I, I plateaued out of like 195 because I kept feeling full and I was tired and I was hard breathing. I mean, it's my fault that I stopped because I, I stopped listening or I stopped. So if you consume that much and you're still hungry, are you allowed to eat more at this I'm not. I wasn't hungry. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was, I was feeling full when I was doing that. Okay. Are I'm you, not doing that now. I'm kind of backed off a little. Okay. But I'm just going to try to finish, it, finish the book out. Okay. And that should, if done right, put you at 215? No, we were shooting for 215, but it fell off schedule. So maybe 200, I'm hoping. Oh, just to gain yeah, another, five, another, five, another five, five, So if I'm hearing it right, now that your body's this machine after working for so long, it's extremely hard to take, I mean, to keep on weight. You're consuming the right macros, but it's still extremely hard because your body's It's, hard, it's hard for me, yeah. I'm a okay. real hard gainer. What, uh, what do you say about things like, or what's your opinion on, because you mentioned it um, before, about like weight gainers and all this stuff in GNC, <coughs> stuff all over the internet, oh, everybody's I don't, stuff. As far as supplements, I mean, to each is their own, you know what I mean? What you like. I like pre-workout. I take creatine, I take ADA, um, and that's it. Would you recommend it for anybody who's starting out young, getting in the game? What would you? What would be George's recommend, recommendation? Just start off small, man. Start off something simple. Like, like coffee for pre-workout. Really? So yeah, I coffee. mean, yeah, coffee works all day. Okay. Anything else? Any other tricks? Nah. Because you had to have picked up something over 10 years. Nah, I just go with the flow, whatever I'm feeling. I mean, really, I get whatever's on sale. What do you mean? Yeah, if it's a good sale on a pre workout and I like it, we're going to get it. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. If Are you, you taking a pre workout five days a week, three days a week? I take, I take If I work out, I'm taking it. I'm taking it 15 minutes before I go to the gym. Oh, okay, so anytime you, you hit the gym, you're taking a pre workout. Yeah, I take it. It just helps help me out. Are you taking anything post or are you just consuming food and eating? Um, just depends on the day, how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling full, I'll eat a shake. If I'm feeling hungry, then I have a meal. Are you hitting two a days now? Oh, no. no. So you're still yeah. one time a day yeah. and still able to maintain the strength, the yeah. size. I'm feeling tired right now because I'm feeling heavy, but I'm good. What'd you do? You had a big meal? Yeah. Which meal size? Some people say they eat a lot of small meals. Some people say they eat a lot of big meals. Uh, In your case, what would you recommend if you were going to teach somebody, or what would you recommend for yourself? What I did, what I did, uh, the same meal every day. I would have two pieces of, I would have two pieces of toast, and like four eggs, and like half a cup of oatmeal. And then um, that would be my breakfast. And then I, didn't, I wouldn't eat enough, so I would have a, a six ounce breast, chicken breast, with some broccoli. And at the end of the day, I would have tilapia and broccoli. And that was how I got shredded quick when I first started. Cause I cut out a bunch of carbs. I would only have them in the morning. What would you eat during the day? I wouldn't eat. That really? was it. I just wasn't eating. Just drinking lots of water. And that was when you were at your heaviest and you wanted to slim down. I or was chasing it. I was chasing it. Yeah, I was just chasing, trying to lose weight, not knowing I was working out, building muscle at the same time, which was the best part. Cause I've seen people just run and run and run and lose weight, but if you you add weights, you're gonna tighten up and you're gonna build. So what's, so perfect. So you just said you saw a lot of people running and people think that running and cardio is going to get you skinny, but it, I mean, it was going to get you to lose weight, but it doesn't yeah. necessarily translate into, uh, into muscle growth. Right. So what translated into muscle growth for you? With the weight training in the morning. So always, so weight training is number weight one. Weight training number one. Regardless uh, yeah. of cardio. Yeah, regardless. You're going to train. We got to train. I'm going to train. I'm not going to tell you how you do it, but yeah. that's what worked for me. It's training, training, training. Train hard. And hit your car if that's your goal. Light weights, heavy weights, because there's a if, big... If, if it's too light for you, you know it's too light for you. At the end of the day, integrity is everything. Everything. You're going to need that bar, come on. Say that again? I mean, come on. Get, get underneath the bar. Oh, yeah. 
We'll see what you got. I mean, or you see, no, no, not we'll see. You get to see yourself what you got. And that's the best part. And when you say get underneath the bar, you got some people like Phil Heath, some, guy, some guys like Phil Heath, they say, I don't bench press, I don't do certain things. You got some of the old guys, Ronnie Coleman, these guys are bench pressing. These guys were squatting, these guys were deadlifting. What have you learned and what do you suggest for longevity? Because we see people like Ronnie Coleman, you know what I mean? You know, prayers out to him, but he's yeah, always in absolutely. surgery. All these other guys, I think it was uh, one of the other guys, I think maybe Flex Wheeler, one of them just got their leg chopped off. Oh, yeah, he got cut off. Yeah, so what, because I know you mentioned that the, in the last video, you mentioned that the young guys, they ain't going to be there in 10 years. So what keeps you going 10 years? You said you got a little joint pain, but that's much. But then, so from now 42 to 52, what keeps you going 20 years, no major injuries, no tears? What keeps you going? I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about going today. If I go today and then I go tomorrow, then I'm gonna just keep going. That's I mean the specific. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like, how do I see myself? Well, I'm not, I don't have that. I don't have to think about that. I don't think about that. I can't. This young shit at work asked me the other day, he said, hey man, when do you think you're gonna stop? I don't. I don't think you're gonna stop. I don't, why would I, I don't think about that. That's the only thing, I, I love training, I love it. I love so you're it. not scared it. injury or nothing like if that? I hurt myself, I hurt myself. It's, it is what it is. Have you hurt yourself within 10 years? I tweaked my back a few times. I mean, I lost a nail, I smashed my nail. I was about spit open my finger on the squat rack, still finished squatting. My finger hanging off. When you tweaked your back, what'd you do after? I finished the leg workout. I didn't squat anymore, but I finished the leg workout. Oh, okay, so squatting did kind of lead to an. Are you still squatting these oh, days? Oh, yeah, I squatted shit Tuesday. Okay. So, regardless of injury, you're still gonna keep banging Fuck and banging it. and banging and banging. Has anything in the gym affected your normal life? Yeah, we're going all out. In what way? In a positive way? In a positive negative way. way. In a positive way. In a positive way. With everything. When we fight, me and her fight, we fight all out. But when we make up, we make up. In the gym? Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. But I'm saying this, we go all out. Why not? Fuck it. Why not? Gotcha. I mean, we all gotta work, and let's work. I get it. Just try to take care of yourself. That's all I'm saying. You'll feel better. So, basically, your main diet, even still to this day, is low carbs. High vegetables, high proteins, stuff like that. That's kind of what you've been. <coughs> yeah, here lately, you know, like I said, I've been bulking, been more carbs, but I'm still eating the vegetables just to keep some color in there. So the vegetables are always in there? Yeah, the vegetables are always in there. Regardless. Yeah, regardless. And vitamins and everything like vitamins, that. I take vitamins, fish oil. I remember you mentioned it, yes. Yeah, uh, joint sure. pain, whatever that is. Medicine. Joint pain? Yeah. Are you seeing the doctor regularly? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went okay. to the doctor, they said I'm good. Everything's still good? Yeah. Because we, we're seeing a lot of guys, I remember I saw it kind of. Reference that last time. So now that you're jumping, jumping out there. Now you're putting your story out. You've been grinding for ten years behind the camera. Now that you're in front of the camera, what are some of your goals? Um, I don't know. I never thought about it. Just wanted to find let everybody know. You know what I mean? Let everybody know your story. Just a little bit of the story. Yeah, because I never really told about it. I told Albert, my homeboy Albert. Give him um, a shot. What's up, Albert? <laughs> my boy Albertito Bonito, my nigga, man. <laughs> but. Uh, I think I told him about that, but that's it. Nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. Trey don't even know about that. Well, that's good. I think. I mean, but it just, it, I remember that like it's yesterday. I still remember. I think he'll be proud. That's a, I think that's a really good story. I know your family, all of us, we've always wanted you to share. Now you're on this side of the camera. I'm glad we got this opportunity to get you to actually speak and, and let us know just a small glimpse of your world because it's been 10 years and you've got, in fact, the family reunion is coming up, right? Oh, yeah. So, did you guys, is this your first family reunion now that you look like this? I think so. Yeah, See? because last time I was fat. Yeah, I was fat. See? I so was listen. fat. So yeah, listen. but they, everybody knows everybody look like now. We all Facebook each other. <laughs> we all talk shit on there, too. <laughs> but that's good, though. Yeah, but yeah, it's good, man, come on. Yeah, we all better good. meet up. We all better love each other. I can't wait. That's good, that's good. So, I, I think... Yeah, I need a hoodie, fam, to get at me. Yeah, I need one behind the camera. We need one, but, uh, but yeah, so we're going to wrap this interview up, but I just wanted to always, because when somebody can go that long consistently and stay disciplined for that long, whether or not ups, downs, things like you said that we might not know that you're now sharing on camera, yeah. I think this is the thing, this is the type of content that will really 
uh, influence and inspire other people to kind of follow you. So not just your immediate family, but then other people who might catch this video. Yeah. I think as long as we just continue to uh, video you and get you out there, I think you'll still, you know, really help a lot of people, whether or not you get big, small, or whether or not yeah, you're still I help healthy. anybody, man. You're healthy at the end of the I'm day. Just, I'm just trying to get better, man. Let's see, let's see all get better. That's good yeah, to know. I mean, That's good to know. And I remember, I'm going to tell you a story real quick. Go ahead. I remember when I first started working on it, I tell the Nikki, that I had to physically grab my mom and say, don't make me nothing to eat. I'm going to try to diet. Because every time I would try to diet, she would make me something to eat. She'd make me some tortillas and some beans and everything I liked, and it would just kill it. But I had to grab her and say, look, I'm going to try this. Don't make me nothing to eat. Wow. And she didn't. And, and she that's didn't. what yeah. helped. So that helped. And now you can eat whatever you want. I'm eating a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, let them know where they can follow you at. Let them know your social media. Let them know the gear, where they can get. You got fresh gear? You got, you got new gear? Yeah, man. I mean, want to talk about these hoodies. It's another little video we shoot on right quick. Um, take two. Try it again. Um, <laughs> no, go ahead. Super proud, man. Just, just, it took off better than I thought. I mean, want to explain it. It's not me talking shit to everybody. It's more about killing. Talk that shit! No, hold on. Talk man. that shit, George! I wasn't talk ready, that nah, shit, George. nah. Talk I wasn't that ready shit, for that, man. Nah, son, talk that shit, George. Talk that shit. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in on the shirt. I'm gonna zoom in on the shirt. Talk that shit, George. Nah, hold on. Y'all talking about my hoodies, bro? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go you call me when you call me when I wasn't ready. Go ahead. I forgot where I was at, bro. You tell us about the hoodies, where they can get them at. Oh, oh. Because I saw my little man, he got one. Get at me, man. Super proud of him, man. Just what it means. Can I, can I say it now? You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Come on. Chili, shut up. Uh, all right, I want to talk about these hoodies, man. Super proud, for real. No shit. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I don't know why. I, just, I love it. I love it. It took off like it did. Um, want to say what it means. It's not me talking shit to everybody. It means killing every day that day. And versus everyone is every one thing that gets in your way that day. So just break it down and kill every day and kill every one thing that gets in your way for that day to get you going. And that's how we stay consistent. Get at me at Killing Every Day Instagram. DM me, get at me, we can get we can ship to you. Whatever color you want, let me know. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And whoever's already got one, I appreciate it. Thanks.